Welcome back to Who's Got Next. Today we're checking out a few of North America's top Wild Rift esports pros before they hit the stage at Icons. Let's take a look at Immortals Hoon and Sentinels Mali. Coming into Icons as reigning WNS champions, Immortals dominated the first season in large part due to Hoon. Beginning just flashed, so now he's in trouble here over the oh, wall. Lamont catches him out, there and is. now Immortals with the team fight. Double kill under Lamont. Bali trying to reposition, flash under the turret, goes into the face. Immortals have won it in the late game. Double kill under Hoon. Immortals strike back. The 26-year-old mid laner has an impressive background as one of the best mid laners in the region. Yeah, he's very far away, MTS. Sentinel start this with a man. Oh, Molly's in. There's the wild girl straight on the she. She's traded. Molly's down, but not before the double. Actually, it's Hoon that gets the double kill. He began as one of the original players on Immortals and was rank one challenger during the first competitive season of Wild Rift. I gotta ask, who are you most excited to play knowing that you're gonna get to go to Icons? What region are you most excited to play against? Uh, I think Europe. Why? Because I don't think they're that good, but they talk a lot. Apart from Europe, are there any other regions that you think are like massively overrated? Okay, Brazil is definitely overrated. They were like, every time we talk about NA is good, they just send a screenshot of Tribe getting smashed by everybody in the chat. Like, that we can't say anything else back, you know? Into the game, that itemization, really strong form in this game. We'll see. Oh, there's the Rift Tail that we were looking for. Here we go, Charm again. That's such a good CC chain. That's an easy kill there. Keeping his high level of play consistent, Poon has placed first in Rift Masters Open Qualifier 1 and 2, as well as the first and second major of WNS. So what's next for NA's winning mid? The Icons Global Championship, of course. The question is, can he outperform Sentinel's Mali? Now, this 17-year-old Sentinel's mid laner is not one to scoff at. After the off shower lap. Lots of damage right there. He took a huge chunk from Molly as she gets a dragon engage! And just a pop from Molly! Deleting Hoon from the rift. Molly also has an impressive background as a previous pro player for Brawl Stars before jumping right into Wild Rift and becoming one of the top eight finishers in the Summoners series qualifiers. Keeping things interesting, he's also appeared in every single major on three different teams. I think Immortals, they're going to be really tough for any team to beat. Uh, I'm confident that we can beat them if we have the uh, momentum. Beginny just flashes in, Ult sends the Morgana. Very long to Hellsbar right now though, Immortals have a really good position right here and Sentinels have overextended, but now Molly with the Moonfall on to three! Sentinels look to turn it back around and they're going to ace Immortals! Sentinels, are you kidding me? Juggling the turret aggro, and now they go back in. Quadra kill to Molly, and an ace for Sentinels. Towards the end of WNS Season 1, Sentinels defeated Tribe Gaming in an exciting best of five series, earning their second place spot alongside Immortals. Five at the end of that fight, and not for very much longer. The stasis is just precious seconds. You will not get back in this series. It is Sentinels with the comeback to find game number three. Mali's got his eyes on the prize, and so does Hoon. Which NA mid will hold the Icons trophy? Let us know in the comments and make sure to tune into the Icons Global Championship starting on June 14th.